Sandy Lene, and welcome to Psychic Creations. In advance, thank you very much for watching. Today we have a very interesting show for you. The program is all about how I give intuitive readings using my stones. Kim Coppell, she will be choosing the stones that appeal to her the most and laying them down on the mat in front of her. I have 117 stones and there's some earth elements thrown in. I've got some, a couple of seashells and a manzanita stick and a feather. And they are all programmed through me <laughs> with their own meaning. They all have their own meanings. Now, um, as Kim lays down these stones in a particular order that she likes on the mat, there is a reason for that. Stone placement can be very useful for me in intuiting the readings. For example, if a client were to lay down their stones in a square uh, shape, that could represent a box. Now, perhaps that meaning for the client is showing me that they want freedom from feeling boxed in. So stone placement is very, very important when my clients, like him, is choosing the stones and laying them down in a particular order. Now, the main bulk of what I do <clears throat> to intuit the stones for my client, I begin relaying the general meaning of what the stone chosen is. Then next, I tune into specific energies of a situation relating to the chosen stones which often this process highlights other facets of the situation which can be fine-tuned by the meanings of the other stones, the neighboring stones. All right, now that Kim has chosen her stones, I will go ahead and intuit a reading for her. I had her choose seven stones, okay? All right, now first of all, the very top stone, what I call, is a brown fern agate, and she has chosen that, put it on the very top of her mat. That is showing me the umbrella of all the other stones are very important, but that very top one is what is very, very important for her, and everything else kind of falls underneath that umbrella. Now, the top fern, uh, the brown fern agate, is showing me that she is concerned about her husband, okay? Now, he has got some business things going on, which by this stone here on to, you wanna pick that up and, and show that? That is called the tri-color jasper. And what that stone means is that in his business, there is going to be some irritating moments with, oh, maybe a boss, maybe a co-worker, someone that he is working with, there's going to be some irritating moments, okay? Now, in association with that irritating moments is the green cube here is called the Malachite. And that is my stone that means a long-winded project is coming to an end. Now, intuiting those stones together in regards to Kim um, being uh, worried or concerned about her husband is there are going to be some irritating moments with either a boss or a co-worker I feel it's another man okay over a project that they've been working on and I just don't think it's been very successful and so now it's time to just let it go you can tell your husband is <laughs> okay <laughs> it's just time to let that that project go because there has been too many well too much time put into it and it's just not successful and so they're going to have to either just shelve it let it go okay they have to come to an understanding that's where the irritating moments come in they have to come to an understanding of what to do with this but it definitely has to just go away okay because it's blocking other ideas um other suggestions, um, other, well, projects that they're working on that will be very successful. This is that proverbial block, okay? So if you can let him know, 
it's okay and well it's okay to even <laughs> argue <laughs> to see just which what to do with it but it's best to let it go okay okay i'll let him know now in the middle there kim has chosen the title of this stone is the purple fluorite and what that means is that kim herself now we're back with kim okay she has got a very important decision to make and quickly usually when my stones if my clients choose that stone it means that there's something on your plate your agenda your schedule that really needs to be yay or nay okay and it's very important that that i intuit these stones for her but i'm also getting information from kim spirit guides on how to address a reading, a particular stone in her reading. And her spirit guides right now, I'm listening to them, they're telling me that this is something that you can progress forward on your own if you make this decision. Okay. Yes or no, okay? Now, when you do say yay or nay, don't come back a few days later kind of beating yourself up saying, oh, I should have said. No, the decision that you need now, so this circumstance, okay, or this, this instant can move forward, is it needs to be yes or no right now. So give yourself maybe a day, but by tomorrow night, please have an answer. Because that's your wall. Okay. Okay? Things aren't progressing forward because, well, they're just waiting for you to make up your mind. Okay. So quickly. So other things now can be coming into your life, okay? You've got some other things coming up with the the aquamarine stone, that's the blue one here, the, the light blue. That is an aquamarine. And Kim chose that because she is needing to identify a project or a work that just might just minutes be in progress right now. You have to address it on how you want to go about presenting it well to the world okay i have a feeling that this is a new uh, business or work project that you have you haven't really maybe gave it a title yet you haven't really thought too much about how to go about presenting yourself in this project to present it to the world okay I have a feeling that this is something that, oh, you've kind of just had the idea rolling around, okay? And now it's time to give it a title, give it a home, and give it a route, okay? And you yourself inside of this new project, who, who do you want to be in it, okay? How do you want to represent it to the world, okay? Now, because I have, have said before that there are certain neighboring stones that will be in association with each other. Now, the middle pink stone that she chose, that is called the rose quartz. And what that stone represents is, well, kind of like an emotional healing, okay? Because she is going to be, hopefully, <laughs> you're going to be hopefully giving a yes or no to a circumstance that's going on. And then she's also going to be giving a title and the importance to a new project that's coming up in her life. I, I just really feel it's a business deal. Then that's where the Rose Quartz comes in. She's going to feel good because I see her going, oh, I really like this now. Because she's got like her ducks in a row. She knows exactly what's going to be coming about or not coming about. If it's something that she just doesn't want to have in her life anymore, the purple fluoride, she can say yes or no to it and it'll leave. So you have room for this new project coming up. So she's going to feel really good about herself. But right now her spirit guides, and because I'm intuiting this reading, she needs to, to either stop and go <laughs> or stop and go at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this is really good. You've got... You've got some really solid um, business. This, this is just all about business right now in your reading. You've got some solid and really important factors coming up. Projects that are coming up. Projects that maybe you've already gotten started, but now you know where to put them. 
when do you want to put the, the time into doing this? You know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or just on the weekend? Okay, solid, solid business deals coming up for you. Okay, now, this is really cool. I am so glad that she chose this light green jasper as her seventh stone because you can't get any happier than what this stone represents. Yay. <laughs> because of everything that's going on in your reading here, okay, even when it comes to your husband and what's going on in your life, you can't get any happier than this because it's like um, dreams coming true. Your goals, your aims, things that you have been wanting to come into your life, they're all coming forth for you. And this is awesome that you chose that stone because you will see how, it's kind of like an onion. You'll see how when you're peeling away the things that you don't want in your life anymore or bringing forth the things that you do, you get to the center and you're happy. Just like with an onion peeling away after a while, you've got this beautiful like little flower. Okay, and so that is how your business life, okay, actually you have nothing uh, intimate or personal here. This is all about business with your husband and with you. Great, great business deals coming up for you. Now, you haven't chosen a stone, which this happens a lot. When my client will choose particular stones, what I will like to talk about is, well, the meanings of the stones and what my clients, Kim, has chosen. But along with that, there's an, a lot more information that does come through. Now, I'm really feeling that you are going to be going away out of town, maybe two to three weekends or two to three double days when you will be gone from well, where you live, which she lives in Genoa. Um, you are going to be like at a seminar or a workshop or you're going to be going away to learn something, okay? I feel that you could possibly, maybe on the third weekend, you could be teaching or even just throwing your ideas and suggestions out. But I really see you for, for three weeks, for two days, if it's the weekend or Wednesday and Thursday, I see you going and learning something. And it, there again, it has something to do with your business ideas. Okay? Great. Yeah. This is really cool for you because it doesn't seem like you're going far. Maybe you're going to Rio, Sacramento, but, but close. It's not like, you know, you need to get in a plane and fly over to England. Or <laughs> well, that'd be fine, too. Darn. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I just see you just a, a, an hour or so away. That's where you're going to go. Exactly. Now, also, I have what I'm seeing extra is that come December, now a lot of times I can't pinpoint an exact date, but the vision that I'm getting for her now is I'm seeing holiday decorations and I'm hearing holiday music. Come December, I see you at a very, there's an awful lot of people there, and I don't know if this is a, seminar or if it's a bunch I mean lots of people getting together like-minded people to learn to share to grow together to evolve with each other with this again new business project for you okay. I really see you in your element because you are telling people about your different businesses you're telling people about your different interests and what you are planning. You know, maybe you have some goals, maybe you have some ideas. These people are listening to you, and because these people are like-minded, they can help you get more business deals rolling. That's great. I just really see you. You're having A business, B business, C business, D, E, F. I mean, you've just <laughs> got this laundry list of things that you're doing. So if you can, try and get some rest now that it's August, September, October. You are, well, October, you're gonna really start getting busy. But by January of 2014, you are gonna have so much going on. You won't be able to take a vacation. <laughs> there won't be any time. So rest up now, 
get some things in order. Maybe they're, you know, I mean, like we all do. We all have things that we want to do or not do or postponing or like me, I just never want to do them. <laughs> get those out of the way. Get things ordered and sorted out. See when you might want to uh, do a particular business that you you have now, that maybe you only can do that on Saturday and Sunday. Because this other business that you're doing can only be done on Monday and Friday, okay? Get things sorted out now when you will have time to bring in and bring up and evolve a new business deal, okay? okay. Now, I know that there's something that um, I'm going to kind of like spill the beans. <laughs> oh. You are going to be a character. You're going to portray a character, I should say. And the only time that you're going to be able to do this is like on Wednesday afternoons. Okay? okay. Very difficult, again, for me to pick up on particular days. But what I am seeing is midweek and in the afternoon. Because that's when, now here again, I'm going to spill some more beans for you. That's the only time that schools will be open to have a, a gathering or a, assemblies to where you can be there. But it's on Wednesdays. Well, then I'll have to keep my Wednesdays open. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. So um, I can get pretty close with, um, well, with days. I can't pinpoint exact times. Sometimes I can't even pinpoint exact people, but I do know that when you have got this new business deal or deals coming up because of the, the um, Aquamarine rainstone, you are going to be talking with two men that are nicely dressed. You know, they're not in Armani suits, but they're nicely dressed. And then another business deal is you are talking with, and this is where the school part comes in. I feel that you are going to be talking with a female, um, maybe school administrator or principal of a school about you coming in and portraying this character, a historical character, because that is basically what a lot of Kim's business is, is history. And she does portray particular characters, but you've got a new one coming up to go into the schools and talk with um, the administrator or the principal, maybe both, okay? And that's on the, another business deal. Like I said, the first business deal I see, I see you talking with um, a couple of men. Okay. Mm -hmm. To get something going. Okay. So this is really cool. This it is, is. Yeah. You've got an awful lot of nice things coming up for you in regards to your business. That's basically what I'm seeing right now. Well, what, what's interesting is with everything that you've mentioned, I can... I'll almost imagine what it is you're talking about. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank I, I you. can say that I, I'm pretty sure I know what she's referring to mm -hmm. here, 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 and so forth. So, oh, yeah. Well, so thank that's, you. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. It's all good news, except for what I have to tell my husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and see, this is that's what his responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I really like too: is the feedback and confirmation from my clients because sometimes I'll get these visions and I well I just don't really quite know what they mean but my client like Kim did she told me she understands what I have been telling her yeah. so thank you for that thank you my mind has been on business a lot lately in all the different directions mm -hmm. so thank you very much Sandy this mm -hmm. is very helpful to me oh good well you <laughs> take your, your rest now because pretty soon in a couple months you won't be able to go yeah, this particular one's going to help me get off the pot. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Well, and you know what? I'm going to continue something with your husband here. Once that this project is shelved or put away or completely forgotten, then he's got two projects of himself that he can really portray his expertise, knowledge, and skills and talents in these, uh, uh, let me see, two new projects for him. Okay. This has really been the proverbial brick wall. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been able to progress forward, but once this is taken away, watch him take off for parts unknown. There's two projects for him coming up. Good. Well, he'll be very excited mm -hmm. about that then. Mm -hmm. So this is, yeah, this is good for him. I know sometimes it's 
Sometimes we just kind of have to let go of the old luggage so we could go to Macy's or Walmart and get new suitcases and <laughs> luggage and start feel, feeling them up too. Yeah, thank you. So, I can't wait to tell him about that. Oh, cool. Well, awesome. Thank you. And thank you for the feedback. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, what I like to do is I really believe in giving only upbeat and informative ratings. Okay. I. Sometimes the information that a client needs might not be pleasant, but I feel that with tact and diplomacy, a difficult message can be given to a client. With this awareness, even with Kim and the good things that are coming up for her, my clients get an awareness that even if it's something that is, is pleasant or something that's unwanted, my clients now have the awareness that they can change it. You can change your future. You having all of these wonderful projects coming up, you can be very alert and um, embrace them. And if there was something that just really wasn't that, you know, all that pleasant, you, um, you as in my client, have the, um, well, you can just change it if you want. You can be aware of the time that it's coming up and say, I don't want that in my life. And so that's you good. can change it. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one of these psychics that yell at my clients. <laughs> I have met some psychics and, and actually I've, I've done some troubleshooting with some clients where they've gone to a psychic. They said, you're not going to yell at me, are you? And it's like, no. <laughs> so maybe after the show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. So I like to give upbeat, informative type of reading and I really like to give whatever visions I have the meanings the the visions the stories everything that comes into my mind even if it's like I, I told Kim she did not choose any stones for the extra part of a reading but I'm getting the visions and I always like to relay that information too it's an awful lot of things that come through okay yeah this is great. Oh, good. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, that's cool. Well, I thank you again for your feedback. Now, if you would like to have a psychic stone reading, or if you're interested in looking at all of my beautiful, I think so, my beautiful stones, I have read all of these, little guys, since 1984. I've given public readings using my stones. And you can see all of those um, on my website, which is... The link for that is www.sandyspsychicstones.com. And I have the pictures of all of my stones up there that you choose each one. There's kind of like what they call a web host form. And there's like little dots next to each stone that you can click on those, okay? A mini reading, you can choose four stones. And a full reading, you can choose nine stones. They're all on my website. And then what you can do too is you have X amount of questions that you can ask. You can send me that list and I can, uh, with, with the stones that you have chosen and with the questions that you've asked, I can give you a reading online or we can arrange something to where you can come to where I give readings, which I'm going to plug Evergreen Jeans in Carson City, Nevada on Tuesdays from 10 to oh, about 2 or so. I give intuitive readings there. So you can get a hold of me at many different places to have a reading. It would be my honor and my pleasure to do so. Thank you very, very much for watching Psychic Creations. Thank you very, very much, Kim, for being my client for today's show. And we'll see you next show. <laughs>